I want to prove it to you. I'm going to show you exactly how far this paint will go. Six colors, eight ounces. I didn't know it was going to go this far. You need a whole bunch of brushes. Let's see if we can do it. I used to believe that all paints were basically the same, but your results can vary greatly depending on the paint you use and the method applied. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get maximum coverage on a whole piece of furniture with just eight ounces of paint. I posted a new video this morning and somebody made a comment that I should talk to you a little bit nicer, that I sound too bossy when I give you instructions. You're so good. I love you. I own a vintage decor store in Southern California where we paint and repurpose lots of old things. So I'm always looking for ways to save money and time. In the last video, I had my dad come help me at my house because I was so overwhelmed with the mess and the clutter. I need your help. What? On September 29th, we have a big party. This place is a mess. Also, people are gonna see my house where I live. I had him build me an organizational system and I will put the link to that video below. But for the next 60 days, we will be cleaning up and making over my house and the store. And I need to do it without buying anything new. I've got all of these colors right here, but I'm not gonna use more than eight ounces. That means one ounce for every color. I'm gonna show you how I can do it. And that is the challenge. Let's get started. The paint I'm using is made primarily of clay. It is extremely pigmented and you can water it way down without the paint separating. I have poured out just three ounces of paint to create a base coat. Because of the clay, the base coat works like a primer coat. You want to let this base coat sit for 24 hours and then you can go back and blend. It creates a optimal surface for blending kind of like putting gesso on a canvas. I have just five ounces left to complete this project. Do you see this here on my face? Bump right there? It's not a bump, very slight. Okay, you know what happened? What? We didn't screw in that white post. And so I was trying to pull the drawer out and the thing flew off and hit me right here. <laughs> Uh, well, did it, you tell me to screw No, it? I didn't tell you. <laughs> Where is the lens? Is it here? Ah. This paint is five times more pigmented than any other paint. I've said it before. This is the inspiration photo that I am going to use, but I can only use eight ounces. That's the challenge. I'm gonna have to measure out all the ounces. I've already used three of the ounces, so I have five left. This is how I want it to look. I'm going to use an ounce of Liquid Sunshine, Firestarter, Cowgirl Coral, and these are our two experimental new colors that are coming soon. And the base coat does not have to cover all the way. I'm measuring one ounce of each color into dishes that I can fit my paintbrush into, but I am also saving the empty jars because even a tiny bit can go a long way. Okay, I have them all poured out and I am ready to go. I am saving all of this paint that's left over that I couldn't scrape out just in case I need it. I like a good challenge. I'm gonna use a lot of brushes for this. That is really important with blending. This water bottle is key to blending. It is really helpful to use several brushes when blending, one for every color and some neutral brushes to help blend the two colors together. The water bottle also keeps the paint moving and helps the colors come together. It is easier to blend if you use more paint, but I wanted to prove a point that this paint can be watered way down and that the coverage is really good. Once I get done with the first round of blending, I like to let the paint cure. The paint dries very fast, but it cures slower. So the longer you wait, the more you can go in and do tricky little techniques without pulling up the coat underneath by reactivating it with water. You don't have to do it this way. You can blend all the way through. I like to do it this way because I can do things that I wouldn't be able to do if I didn't wait. Back from Hawaii. We're on our way to the antique mall.
Ellie and I took a little break and headed over to the antique mall space in Encinitas to make sure that we were stocked up on everything. We have the address in the description box if you're in the San Diego area and want to check it out. It's really fun. Ellie is obsessed with this doll head tissue box holder. She is a girl after my own heart. What is in the back of Debbie's car? Stop. She can't Table. get away from the junk. I think I don't want it out of here. It, like, it's rattling in my car. I feel like I'm... <laughs> what, what a, a to-go hoarder? Yeah. No, there was a show that I used to watch when I was growing up. The Beverly Hillbillies. And they had their... Life. Yeah, that, that is you. And then we headed over to the store to see what Grandpa was working on. I'll blow back for more hurricanes Then drop down to the block Watch the bridge boys with their go -go. Work on today. Well, I'm painting outside. I'm painting a desk and like a hutch. All right, desk. we'll have to go check it out. Rose and I have been working on this. is a cute little jewelry box. <gasps> Look at that. I did this one. This is my favorite. I love it. Sell the transfers and even some of the smaller things we can make and ship on our website. The link is below. Grandpa has been working hard. So I posted a new video this morning and somebody made a comment that I should talk to you a little bit nicer, that I sound too bossy when I give you instructions. It sounds like I'm speaking to you like you're my employee. You want to tell them that you're actually on my payroll? Yeah, I am. <laughs> but you're also my awesome dad. Look what he built. I gave him a picture from Pinterest because I knew we had all this junk. So we can turn this part into shelves and it's going to be this amazing Hall tree. Are you proud of your work? Yeah. Standing guard, right, Levi? My dad wears cochlear implants, so we have to talk loud, and that may be why people think I'm bossy. I just finished with the front. You can kind of see down there. I am really having fun with this. I didn't know it was going to go this far. I have to do the top and the sides, but I'm going to show you how much paint I have left. All I have to do now is blend the top, and I still have plenty of paint. I've done both sides. I'm going to touch up and dry brush with whatever paint I have left over. I just finished my coffee. This piece has been sitting overnight. I need to wax it, distress it, and add some dry brushing. I have tiny little drops of paint left. Dry brushing is just basically barely any paint on the brush and you create texture. This is our blending brush. I think this will be really good for dry brushing. I'm gonna take the perfectionist and just kind of lightly get it across. Normally you offload your brush on a paper towel, but I don't want to waste any of the paint I have left. I'm just going to make sure it's all spread around and I am going to just add a little texture and contrast. I'm going to go through, I'm going to do all the colors until I run out every last drop and then we will wax. Dry brushing is an easy and fun way to add even more depth and dimension to your piece. You put the light colors in the high points and the dark colors in the shadow areas. All these bananas on my birthday cake Remind me that I'm young The clear wax seals and protects the finish and it deepens the color. When you first apply it, it can look a little uneven. Just let it sit overnight and go back and buff it with a soft cloth. I'll blow back for more hurricanes, then drop down to the blocks. Watch the bridge boys with their go go girls interject my genius thoughts. And she made some shelves in it. It's really cool and the back of it is like aluminum roofing really cool i painted it today painted it with uh, mostly white inside i've been going through our stockpile of junk and finding pictures on pinterest and my dad's been building stuff out of the old table legs and the windows and doors it's going to be a lot of work to get ready before the 29th of september for the big party but our family always gets together for brunch and rest on sundays 
Your beloved goodness reigns. Already have thought of, I'm taking it over to Grandpa, and he is going to barbecue it for us. Like a river on a stone. I need you to barbecue okay. the carne asada. And there's one more thing I need you to do for that piece of furniture you made for me. It needs a top on it. So what kind of top you want on it? Fence boards. I have Fence some boards? at my... Yeah, I have oh, some. Oh, you have them? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we are having eggs and carne asada. Yummy. Sadie lady. Are you procrastinating, Dad? This needs a second coat. What is big top? What is big top? Oh, that. Do you sell something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to bring out the dark original color in all the nooks and crannies of the piece. So I'm just going through with a little craft tool and pulling up the paint. Mercy, 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 mercy. I'm not a fan of a lot of prep work or stripping off paint. So I love all the natural texture that occurred simply by going over a paint finish that had been done before. Oh, cling on to so dear. Oh. The yellow contrasting with the purple. Intensify the yellow factor with the dry brushing. I love all the texture that it adds. Many of you ask me about this song. The name of it is Mercy by Drew Holcomb. This video is a collaboration with several other furniture artists. Click the link below. You will not believe what they did with just eight ounces of paint. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store, click the link below. You walk upon heaven, you walked upon the earth. You brought and bought salvation for me, a second birth. You took my broken cross up to Calvary. Oh, yeah. And you sang my redemption song well, hanging on my tree. And I'm not the only one doing this eight ounce challenge. Mercy. There's a whole playlist down there if you want to see more. Mercy.